Hi everybody, today I will be watching the movie Taken. So this is actually the first time that I'm back to recording after having a baby. I did do another recording first for a request just to know that I can still do it. But yeah, this is the first time I'm actually recording a new movie for YouTube. You will see some pre-recorded stuff in the next upcoming weeks. My plan was to have a few things pre-recorded for each week or every other week. So I have some slower weeks that I need to record and some movies. Uh, some weeks where i just need to record as usual so yeah there will be some pre-recorded pregnant stuff still but this is the first time that you see me post pregnancy and with a little baby alexander sleeping in the other room with his dad right now so he's fine <laughs> so i'm excited i was like okay for the first time that i come back i do want to watch something that is my favorite genre and that's obviously crime so here we are liam neeson plays in it who I've seen in Love Actually, a movie that I've seen a million times before I started this channel, but also in Schindler's List. Uh huh, our cat is joining us today. Um, and what I also noticed is that Famke Janssen plays in it. She's Dutch, apparently. I was like, that's a very Dutch name, and she is. I just discovered her in X Men, so that's really cool that I'm uploading this right now together with X Men and that I get this full on bunch of her oeuvre so to say so let's get into this one because i'm pretty excited to be back and i hope you enjoy it as well i forgot to put my lights on okay let's go if you i can't even do it anymore if you like this movie <laughs> reaction make sure to like and subscribe full reactions as always you can find over on patreon on patreon i also post exclusive movie reactions and better call soul reactions as well every week so make sure to check out that over there let's go Oh, I can't wait for those moments. I'm a bit worried though, because the genre is crime and the music is not very happy. Oh no, this is not going to be about child loss, right? Because <laughs> I might not be like <laughs> the best state of mind for that. All right, all right, okay. It's going to be fine. Taken. Oh no, it's about child abduction. Oh my god, I didn't realize. <laughs> I just wanted to give Kim her present. Oh, um, we're letting the kids have their own space. You could put it right there with the others. I want to give it to her myself. What happened though? Because right now I feel sad for him, but you don't know what happened, so. Well, I figure she wants to be a singer. When she was 12, Brian, we've moved on. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, my pleasure. I still want to be a singer. Just don't tell Mom. You got it. Oh, that's so sweet. Nee. Nee. Disapprove. That's probably from the new dad. Yikes. <laughs> this sucks, man. The thing is, though, she might get a horse from that other guy, but it will not take away from her love for her dad. As we have an open space, say the word, it's yours. We think what you're doing is a great thing, trying to make up for lost time with Kimmy. 2,500 bucks just for taking some pop diva to him from her concert. We're one short. A singer? I don't know if you call her a singer exactly, more like a cash cow. Okay. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Okay, it'll be perfect, just like old times. Better. No one gets killed. Hopefully. Seems like somebody's gonna get taken. Yeah, glamour! <laughs> Excuse me, miss. I know this isn't the right time, but I have a daughter who wants to be a singer. I was wondering if you had any tips for her. Tell her to pick another career. <laughs> well, damn. Oh, me. I am so scared of masses of people because it's so dangerous oh my god we got him okay oh my god like ooh. Here, take this the sugar will take the edge off the shark yikes i don't know how you do another concert after that so your daughter wants to be a singer yep since she was five first number is gio my vocal coach if he says she can sing, she can sing. The second number is my manager. Wow. Thank you. No, oh, Mr. Mills. Thank you. 
Damn, is this the life of security guard? Shut. I'm sorry, what a 17 year old does that? All the 17 year olds I know are like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, I'm so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Our cousins asked us to spend vacation with them in Paris. Why do you want to go to Paris? <laughs> Dad, hello? Why would you not want to go to Paris? You need my permission to leave the country. Dad. Oh, me. Like sick apartment oh. overlooking the river. Just you and Amanda. And her cousins. It was just a dinner with a purpose. I'm not comfortable with this. Dad. I know the world, sweetie. Dad, please. I don't think a 17-year-old should be traveling alone. I'm not going to be alone. Two 17-year-olds. Amanda's 19. Still quite young. How about if I go along? I'm very good at being invisible. As you so amply demonstrated for most of her life. Wow. Hey, Kimmy, there's something else. I don't want anything else. Kim. You sacrificed our marriage in the service of the country. You made a mess of your life in the service of your country. Can't you sacrifice just a little this one time for your own daughter? I would sacrifice anything for her. What a oh, twisted mm -hmm. reasoning. Yeah, it's... Putting what? our daughter at risk by going to Paris? Is she a... You're pathetic. I feel like this is a very weird conversation because I think not many moms would be super stoked to send their child to Paris at 17 three conditions i want the address and phone number of where you're staying okay if you move i want to know where and with whom you'll be staying okay. you call me when you land you okay. call me every night before you go to sleep one last thing i get to take you to the airport okay thank you daddy thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you mom i'm excited i'm excited i'm gonna go call amanda she really acts like she's like 12 or something it oh come on i talked about it first yes exactly you call him off guard and you discuss something in front of the kid. My job made me aware. You were like a spy, right? <laughs> Do you miss it? I missed you more. Heartbreaking. How he's super into her and wants to be there for her and things about gifts for her and moves. For, like he does all these things. We're always complaining about fathers being unavailable. And then you have this guy and he just gets shit on oh no they're not just going to paris nee. does she know oh my god i dislike her so much do you know about this she's not just going to paris i know what the f it's you two's European tour dates. She's following a rock band around Europe. All the kids do. Stuart got her the No tickets. kids do that. You have no idea what the world is yes, like. Yes, and neither will she, unless she goes out and experiences it. I went to Rome for like four days by myself when I was 22, and my mom just freaked out. <laughs> when was the two of you? Yes, please. Thank you. Where are you from? Um, California. Oh, I wish they all could be California girls. <laughs> do, 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 do. You know, taxi here are so damn expensive. Want to share? No, because then he knows where you're staying. Oh my lord. Nice address. Oh, yeah, thanks. Um, it's actually my cousins, but they're in Madrid for the summer. So. Yes, tell them we're alone. There is a party tonight at school. Want to come? Sure, yeah. Amanda, we don't even know him. What is there to know? We saw it. I'm sorry, serial killers can be hot as well. Fifth floor, Hoffman. Okay, see you tonight. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's the thing is though that they are so young that you cannot blame them for being. Fifth floor, fifth floor. Two girls around eighteen. Like if this were adults, you would be like, that's stupid. But this is, yeah, they're teenagers. It makes sense that they have no clue. She's seventeen. She's in Paris. Give her some space. She'll call. There's no way. There's no way. Moms out there, there's no way that you would be like this. And also, I don't know about other people, but like if we travel and we're in our 30s, we still text our parents that we arrived safely because they care. Not because they're like smothering us, but because you you care about your kiddos. Give me. Someone here. Oh, oh my god, they got Amanda! What? Tell her where you are. Did they know where they are? Give the address. Oh my f 
All right, listen to me. Oh, God. Do you need anyone on the plane? No. In the airport? No. Yes, Peter. How many people are there? Be precise. Three, four, I don't know. Go to the next bedroom. Get under the bed. Tell me when you're there. I am so happy that he's used to this and can hold it together because I don't know what people would do. They are going to take you. Kim, stay focused, baby. This is key. Leave the phone on the floor. Concentrate. Shout out everything you see about them. Hair color, eye color, tall, short, scars. Anything you see, you understand? This gives me like Jason Bourne vibes. No, no. I think they're... Yeah. Oh my God, my heart. I don't know who you are. But I will find you are a very particular set of skills. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Good luck. I think I died a little. Like I'm in, I'm in shock. I am in shock. She's been taken. What are you talking about? Any enemies overseas, Stuart? Why would I have any enemies? <laughs> Multiple I have a lease agreement with NetJet through your umbrella company in the Bahamas. I do. Get me a plane to Paris. Lucky them that they have the resources to do this. Although you could also say if they had less resources, you wouldn't be traveling to Paris because I cannot imagine traveling to true America when I was 17. And we have information that a mobster boss by the name of Marco Ocha moved to Paris about six months ago. The specialty of the groups coming out of this area is trafficking in women. Oh my God. They'd addict them to drugs and turn them into prostitutes. Oh. However, they've decided that it's more economical just to kidnap traveling young women. Rate, our analyst says you have a 96 hour window from the time she was grabbed. To what? To never finding her. No! No! <laughs> it's also so weird if you think about it that it's possible to pick someone up somewhere and completely erase their existence. Yeah, if you get them addicted to drugs and stuff, but you, do they not like remember bits and bobs? This does give me Jason Bourne vibes. <laughs> Hair color, eye color, tall, short, scars, anything you see, you understand? But that two thing was super helpful, right? I'm surprised how much info they already have. They already have the name and stuff, the group. Is he really going after the next ones? You know, cats here are so damn expensive. Want to share? Excuse me. Uh, oh, he got him already. What? The next rip drives into your lungs. The two American girls, where are they? Oh, wow. This is very organized. Right in the nuts. Ah, Peter. He needs to be careful that he doesn't get picked up by the police and then gets thrown in jail and then that's that, you know? Spend your 96 hours in jail. No way. No way! Oh. She and her friend were marked by a spotter at the airport. Albanians took her. How do you know this? I'm retired, not dead. <sighs> Here is my resume. The employment agency said we would be doing translation. Usually it is 25 per hour for the first three hours and then it goes okay. up to... You're here for 10 hours. Wait here. Oh, poor Gregor. <laughs> the rate is 40 euros for the standard. Standard? Could, could you be more specific? Listen, if you're not buying, piss off. No, 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 no. I didn't say I wasn't buying. I just like to get comfortable before I purchase. Like this karaoke machine I bought. You're gonna get me in trouble if you don't buy. Trouble? Really? With who? Piss off. Oh, he's baiting them. There we go. Oh, he planted something. Okay. We're hard to translate. Yes, but translate what? Translate. One of them says the sausage gave him heart, but... Keep going. <laughs> Fresh merchandise giving problems. Mr. Smith, I do not understand any of this. I'm not supposed to. Goodbye. I asked for an English-Albanian dictionary. Did you bring one? Thank you. 
sometimes I feel like with dictionaries, you're not even that good off because like you don't know like what is a word in like a sentence that you don't recognize at all. Yeah, oh my god, disgusting. And like I think the, the reason why this hurts so much is because this exists. Imagine finding your girl like there. Who gave this to you? I'm good. Oh, come on, it's so frustrating. And like, we're disappointed now because it's not his daughter that he can take away. But those are all people's daughters. This is sad for every single one of them. Oh, guns! <gasps> oh man, and also you know that they know where they are. He doesn't know where he is. So I feel like navigating out of here is a lot more difficult for him. Goodbye, bad guy. You never wish ill on somebody, but people like them make it really hard <gasps> wow. him getting out of there is gonna be a huge problem for them because he knows their whole operation spot but then again like nobody knows where he is right now although is he not being followed by yikes he sliced up Je vous avais dit qu'il resterait right? pourveilleuse longtemps. Bon, qu'est-ce qu'on fait maintenant À mon avis, maintenant qu'il a mis le souk. Vous n'allez pas tarder à vous faire larguer. <rire> oh, I do admire the... That was so petty, but so funny. <rire> Saved one. And he knows that his daughter in, might be in one of a similar situation. Man. I also feel like you only understand this by growing up. Because I remember like driving to school with my bike and you know your parents being worried or if they didn't know where you were that they would be worried and you would always be like oh my god like so stupid. But once you mature you're like it's a crazy world out there and kids don't have any idea what bad people are up to and it's heartbreaking. Yes. I'm constantly like, I have this permanent, I'm almost listening. like tear stuck in my eye. Air France 001, leave to the two first class. Come on, seven dead bodies, three in hospital, a building destroyed. Total chaos at the airport. It's the best I could do, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it anymore, Jean-Claude. I also think I'd rather keep going and spend my life in prison than not try to get her. I'm trying to save my daughter. But it was a trailer, not a building. Haha, <laughs> smart. Bye, suckers. Which is bad, right? Because these are the good guys as well. Where did you get this jacket? Did you get it from her? Was it from this girl? I didn't steal it. I was cold, she gave it to me. Where? Oh my god, and then she's nice. Makes it even worse. House. What house? The house with the red door. He said it was a party. And the girl who gave you this jacket, was she in the house? She was nice. I know. She, she's my daughter. <laughs> I need to find this house. Do you know where it is? Paradise. Paradise. Morning. I help you. I'm here to see your boss. Damn, Liam, you look so cool in this role. I push one button and 30 agents will be here before you have time to scratch your worthless balls. This <laughs> weapon? You're holding it. Oh, sassy. <gasps> mm. By the way, which one of you is Marco? I was told Marco is in charge. We are all Marco. 
Marco from Tropoya. We're all from Tropoya. That's a game you want to play. The rate just went up 10%. Damn. Um. Now, which charge would you like to be arrested for? Drugs? Kidnapping? Prostitution? Take your pick. Your arrogance offends me. And for that, the rate just went up 10%. You want to get down to business or do you want to keep playing? You made a very good investment, gentlemen. See you in a month. A friend gave this to me. It's Albanian. You mind translating it? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Oh my god, he's so smart. That's why he needed the dictionary. To recognize his voice. We spoke on the phone two days ago. Oh, he's I such a badass. You find you. Damn. You don't remember me. Dim, dim, dim. I like how the action feels very uh, real. Like he's super good, but it doesn't feel like over the top that it's not possible. You better be here. Only Amanda. Is she alive? She's dead. Oh my god, at that point it sinks in that your girl could be dead too. Wake up! I need you to be focused. <gasps> okay, okay, f my life. Okay, I guess we're evolving to the next level right now. I'm not into torture. Tempers wicked short. People would resort to things like pulling fingernails. Acid. Drink. Oh my god. <laughs> Where is she? Man, the movies that I've seen him so far, he's always this nice guy, sweet guy. But I have to admit that he has a really good voice to do this as well. She was piercing a lot of money. You sold my daughter. Oh man, I get aggressive from hearing this. Sinclair. 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 Is that a person? A place? Where can I find him? You better know quickly. I believe you. <laughs> but it's not gonna save you. Oh man. <laughs> Me. I was just telling Brian how nice it's been since you left the old job. He's not gonna shoot somebody in his own home, right? Although I do think you would be able to get him out. Over in the tenth arrondissement on Rue Paradis. The people there know oh. someone that works in your office, I think. And Mr. McCann. I got to the bottom of it, Jean Claude. I know everything. I hope you're not involved in this shit. What shit? This is not the time. Quel merde. Are you involved? <gasps> Involved in what? I told you I would help you as long as it didn't cause trouble for me. Who is Patrice Sinclair? I don't know. I don't care. Let's get going. Dinner is over. I'm not finished yet. That's what happens when you sit behind a desk. You forget things. It's a flesh wound. But if you don't get me what I need, the last thing you'll see before I make your children orphans is the bullet I put between her eyes. Patrice Sinclair. I don't even know what to say. That's what happens if you sit behind a desk. Yes, I'm here to see Mr. Sinclair. I'm sorry, your name is not on the list. Please check again. <laughs> and he actually does. Inside. Wow, like the in the neck move happens a lot in this one. <laughs> Oh man, like even if he finds her, I'm just scared of like what stage she's gonna be in. Your champagne? Yeah, I would have taken. I have 50,000. 50,000. Holy Jesus, for real? Sold for 250,000. 
Oh my god, it's so organized. As usual, we save the best for last. Speaks English, some French. Certified pure. Certified pure? Oh my god, I need to vomit. Can he like knock out this guy and bid on her and try to get her? I said I heard what you said. I heard. Can they see him? That was the one thing that surprises me that these guys would be inside for each other. Sold. Thank you all for coming. Move. You will never get away with this. If you want to live, you'll make sure I do. I live and. What's for Duma? Yeah, it makes sense that the elevator situation would come out eventually. The last girl. I'm her father. Give her to me. I wish I could, honestly. See, I'm, I'm a father myself. I have oh. two sons and a daughter. This is a very unique business. I'll pay it. This business, you have no refunds, no returns, no discounts, no buybacks. I'll kill them quietly, I have guests. Yeah, don't make the murder inconvenient for us, please. Oh, wait a second. What are... Oh man, this is gonna be a close call. Ooh, there he goes. Yes! Yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> it's going well. Oh, what a movie to come back to. Oh, 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 yikes. You know how it feels? You dirty worm. I feel like your three kids are going to lose their dad. Dude. It wasn't personal. It was all personal to me. It was all business. What? <laughs> Wait, I'm just thinking. Where did the movie start? Was that in America? I, I just assumed because all movies seem to do, but like maybe it was the UK. No way, they were from California. No, so they were in America. Smooth. Oh my fucking god. Like, like watching this movie hurts physically and emotionally. <laughs> Ah, cuz. <laughs> the neck snaps. <laughs> the neck snaps. Hi. If I was a Sheikh, I would be like, you know what? Take her. I can buy someone else. Take her. Get rid of this issue. <gasps> oh, my God, I get dizzy from <gasps> watching this. Oh, God. Sheikh is not a dumbass. We can make <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Better than a horse, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god, I have chills everywhere. <laughs> Brian, if there's anything you need, I've got everything I need. Man, there are some things that materialism cannot place oh my god i'm like i told you it's a surprise hi we're at the therapist <laughs> oh. i was Sorry, wondering through the whole movie Adios. if we would see her again and like what the connection would be but this is nice it's such a round circle moment oh my god it's done i feel like my soul is destroyed 
this was a really good movie as much as it hurt i always love watching crime movies but i feel like this one hits home so much because you know this exists you know that there's bad people out there living these crazy lives wanting things that are so dark while the rest of us is just living these above the ground lives you know like in the open god that was intense it was so good acting super great i loved many of the different shots that we saw and it's one of those movies with the very simple story and still really good which i think is always amazing and they did it in quite a short time which i love because i feel like sometimes movies are being dragged out so much that it doesn't seem realistic anymore but i feel like here you had this very um easy to follow events brian 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 epic really enjoyed this i know that there's other movies i think two more let me know if you want to see reaction to those because this was really really good and i only want to watch sequels if they're good as well and not if they like take my feeling away from how good this one was if you have other movies like this crime preferably let me know in the comment section yeah i hope you like this reaction i'm gonna cuddle my newborn right now because i feel like that's the best medicine <laughs> from a movie like this if you like it make sure to like subscribe full reaction as always you can find over on patreon together with some exclusive reactions and better call soul and some polls for next movies that i'm gonna watch so thank you for supporting me over there it really helps me out so i can work with editors because right now i have very little time so that helps out a lot i'll see you in the next one bye bye have a lovely night